you know, I was thinking about it today, sort of how I'm, how I'm feeling, because I feel very different this time. And I realized the, the analogy is having a second child. The first child you have, everything is new and totally important, and you worry about every bite the kid takes and every step and every fart and burp and, you know, the room is totally sterile. And, and then by the time you have your second kid, it's like, the kid's going to walk, the kid's going to eat, the kid's going to learn to read, everything is going to be cool. And you're much more relaxed with the second kid. And it's in some ways better for the second kid because you're not like up there but all the time, you know, on top of them all the time. And that's really how I'm feeling here. It's like, this is great. We're going to build a shelter. It'll be better than the shelter I built the first time. I make alliances. It'll just be the way it's supposed to be. And everything is, you know, knock on an extremely large piece of wood, um, you know, working out okay. It's only 24 hours, but uh, it's been great. After the last time I did Survivor, the past year, 15 months, whatever it's been, I think I've learned a lot more empathy. Um, I've learned resilience. I've learned acceptance a lot more. I've also learned like it's it's going to be okay. You know, if you're on, you know, I, I have a wonderful life back at home. I mean, a truly blessed life, and and that's what's important to me. You know, what's in my what's in my house, and I can sleep on the floor and I could not have all the wonderful things that I have, it would be okay. In fact, I could be super happy without those things. I'm not saying I don't want those things, but if I didn't have those things, I could still be really happy. It's an adventure. You know, what's important to me is the people in my life, and that's sort of what I'm trying to make important to me out here now. The gameplay itself hasn't changed that much. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, a realization that less is more, that, that I personally have a extremely loud, in some ways aggressive personality for most people, you know? Um, they see me as a very in-your-face kind of person. Certainly on the first Survivor that I did, I was perceived that way. To my detriment, I could rationalize how maybe that's what helped me get as far as I got, Maybe that's what, why they brought me back for that personality. I don't know, but I'm, you know, I can't play that game. I can't be somebody I'm not. Just like then I couldn't play this game. You know, you play the game, you play, you, I'm in the moment. I'm trying to be in the moment and who I am. Um, and, that's, and that's what I'm trying to do out here now, you know, is, is, is I'm not the fastest. I'm not the strongest. I'm not the smartest. I'm not the wickedest. You know, I'm, I'm like right in the middle of the pack and everyone can see that I am good at a lot of different things, actually, maybe even surprisingly good at some things, you know. Um, but if I can just be really present, low key with them and not chase them or make them feel like I'm running away from them, um, I'm getting a lot more. Right now, I think almost everybody feels like I'm their friend and I would work with them and vote with them. With some of these new folks who honestly do not seem impressive to me. I mean, you know, just, just judging a book by its cover, um, I was not impressed with the group of people that I saw out on that mat. You know, and I, ho I hope I'm proven wrong. I'm sure I'll make a couple of friends out there. But when I walked out there, and I had some inkling, you know, when I didn't see other all-stars or other returning players, and it was a bunch of folks who, you know, said, oh, yeah, he's this and that. I do have 39 days more experience, you know, and, and a year to learn from that experience, to, to cogitate about that experience before I even knew that I, this was ever going to happen. You know, I didn't know I was ever going to be back out here. I processed that for myself, you know, to really, this was a life-changing and, and I don't think for everyone who plays the game, it is a life-changing experience. It's just a monumental experience, you know? It's a watershed experience. But for me, it really was a life-changing experience. And I spent the past year, 15 months, thinking about it every day, you know, and trying to, to let it affect me, you know? So that's why I am, in some ways, a different person out here now. The second chance to do, uh, to ha at a life-changing experience, you know, 
It is. It's like a second kid or a second marriage or your second parent dies, God forbid. I don't know, something like that. I mean, you know, it was a profound experience for me. And I didn't come out here looking for more profundity in my life. I actually came out saying, you know what, I had that experience. I'm going to have some other experience.